Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss some operations on matrices and their properties. Let us start with equality of two matrices. Two matrices are equal if the matrices are of same order. This is the first condition and the corresponding elements are same. Now look at this. If we take A equal to Aij m by n and B equal to Bij m by n, this first condition is automatically satisfied because we have taken order m by n in A and m by n in B means orders of these two matrices are same. And now how can we say both matrices are equal? We can write A equal to B if A i j equal to B i j for all i from 1 to m and j 1 to n. So in this way you can define equality of two matrices. Addition and subtraction of two matrices. We can perform addition and subtraction of two matrices if the two matrices are of same order. Otherwise, you cannot perform addition and subtraction. So, let us take the matrices A equal to Aij m by n and B equal to Bij m by n. Now, whenever you perform any operation, then you get a new matrix. For example, say the sum of these two matrices A plus B is another matrix C and suppose it is denoted by C i j. Now we will define C i j in the term of A i j and B i j. So how can we define it? Because this is the sum of these two matrices. So we can write C i j equal to A i j plus B i j for all i and m, i and j in this range. Similarly, we can define subtraction. You can write suppose A minus B is noted by C and C equal to suppose C i j m by n. Then we can write C i j equal to A i j minus B i j for all i and j in this range. Now product of a matrix by a constant. You know that whenever we multiply a matrix with a constant then every element is multiplied with that constant. So suppose if a equal to a i j m by n k is a constant. So k a this is another matrix and suppose if we denote it by b i j m by n then we can write b i j equal to k into a i j because every element of a that is a i j is multiplied with k. That's why b i j equal to k a i j for all i and j in this range. There is a generalized way to define all these operations. Now properties of matrix addition. Here I am going to discuss some of the properties. This matrix addition is commutative. Commutative means you can write a plus b equal to b plus a. You can change the order. You will get the same matrix. This is very easy property. You can prove it easily. Though I am not going to prove all these properties, here I am simply discussing all these properties just for the information. Second matrix addition is associative means if suppose you have three matrix A, B, C are of same order then you can write A plus B plus C means first we have added B and C and then we will add it with A. This equal to A plus B means first we are going to add A and B then we are going to add C. So this is association, uh, this is the associative law. So matrix addition satisfy, satisfies associative law. Existence of identity. For every matrix A, the original matrix of same order such that if you add A with this null matrix and you get the same matrix A. And this null matrix is called the additive identity. Existence of additive inverse. For every matrix A, there exists a matrix minus A such that if you add A with minus A then you get the additive identity and this minus A is called additive inverse of A. So these are some properties of matrix addition. Now we define product of matrices which is very important concept in matrices. Let's suppose A and B are two matrices. The first thing when we can find the product of AB. To find the product of AB, the number of columns in A must equal to the number of rows in B. Otherwise, we cannot perform multiplication. If it is possible 
to perform the multiplication then a and b these two matrices are said to be conformable for multiplication means we can perform multiplication now suppose a equal to a i j order of a is m by n and order of b is b i j n by p look at this here number of columns equal to n and this number of rows in b equal to n so both are same that's why now we can perform the multiplication a into b and after multiplication we will get a matrix suppose this matrix is c the order of this matrix is in this order of this matrix suppose this c i j the order of this matrix will be m by p m by p now let us try to understand the product of two matrices how can we write the product in generalized way look at this a is the matrix of order m by n and b is the matrix of order n by p so c we have written as c i j and order is m by p now how can we find the expression for c i j so look at this to find the expression for c i j what we do we multiply ith row of this matrix a and jth column of matrix b so we multiply these two as a dot product then we find the expression so before we write expression for c i j look at some examples for example just take c11 c11 means we have to multiply the first row of matrix a with first column of matrix b just like as a dot product so this is the first row and this is the first column now this first element is a11 multiply with b11 this is a11 b11 a12 b21 a12 b21 and similarly a1 and b n1 so this is a1 and b n1 just take another example c12 it means first row of a and second column of second column this column of b it means a11 b12 a11 b12 a12 b22 and a1 and b n2 similarly you can write c21 means second row second row of a and first column of b so you can write expression in this way now look at this how can we write a generalized expression like c i j looking at all these threes if you look at this 1 1 c 1 2 c 2 1 what kind of pattern you find look at this if it is 1 1 this first is 1 this is 1 this is 1 this is 1 1 1 look at this if it is 1 2 this first is 1 last one is 2 this is 1 2 1 2 if it is 2 1 this is 2 1 2 1 2 1 it means if I have to write C I J just forget this these number in between the first will be I this is J this is I this is J this is I this is J clear now look at these numbers between so starting with 1 second one is 2 third one is 3 and last one is n look at this 1 2 up to n is 1 2 up to n it means the sum is up to the number of columns in first matrix so you can write ci is equal to starting with 1 this is 2 and this is n so how can we write c i j this is a i 1 b 1 j plus a i 2 b 2 j and up to a i n b n j so in this way you can write c i j now further you can write it because look at this summation is going from 1 to n number of columns in first matrix so you can write it c i is equal to summation k equal to 1 to n a i k b k j so whenever you have to write c i j so look at this the first subscript of a would be i and last subscript of b would be j and in between this k this k will move from 1 to n so in this way we can write the expression for c i j and this is very important and just try to define yourself because we can prove many theorems with the help of this expression now properties of matrix multiplication look at this matrix multiplication in general is not commutative because 
it's not necessary that if you can multiply a and b that b and a is also conformable for multiplication for example if suppose order of a is suppose order of a is 3 by 2 and order of suppose b is 2 by 4 so you can multiply a and b you will get a matrix c of order 3 by 4 but if you look at this you multiply b a this is order 2 by 4 it is 3 by 2 so you cannot find b a so but matrix multiplication is not commutative in general matrix multiplication is associative associative means if you write three matrices in this in such a way so that you can find a b and b c look at this order of a is m by n this is n by p and this is p by q so you can multiply a with b and b with c so this is associative means you can write a b c means first find the product of b c then multiply it with a and this is equal to a b into c so matrix multiplication is associative Multi matrix multiplication is distributive with respect to addition so if you write a equal to m by n and look at this the order of b and c are same a you can multiply a with b as well as with c so you can write a b plus c equal to a b plus a c that's why look at this order of b and c are same n by p means you can add b c you will if you add b c you will get a matrix of n by p so after multiplication with a you will get a matrix of m by p so a b similarly you can multiply a b this is a matrix of m by p and again a c this is matrix of order m by p so matrix multiplication is distributed with respect to addition now look at this problem how can we uh, multiply two matrices it's very simple whenever you find you have to multiply two matrices first write the order the order of this one is 2 by 3 order of a is 2 by 3 order of b is 3 by 2 so first write the matrix c suppose c equal to c i j the order is 2 by 2 2 by 2 clear it means how many elements are there c11 c12 c21 and c22 so first write just general format of matrix c now find these elements c11 c11 means first row of matrix a multiplied with first column of matrix b so 2 into 1 this is 2 plus 3 into 3 is 9 1 into minus 1 minus 1 so this is 9 plus 2 11 minus 1 this is 10 clear so in this way you can write c11 similarly if you have to find c21 c21 means this second row and first column so 0 is first 0 plus 2 into 3 is 6 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 so this equal to 7 so in this way you can write c21 similarly you can find other elements and if you have to find ba for ba look at this the order is 3 by 2 and here a is 2 by 3 so ba ba will be of order 3 by 3 so try to do yourself and you will get a equal to this one and b a equal to this one so the important thing first write the matrix general format and its order then find the element one by one 